8th of July 2021. We are doing a tank level demonstration. So uh, here is the USB cable that will power it. This is the sensor. It's peeking through the plastic. And there's the ESP32 dev board, uh, which looks like a, a big dip. A big dual inline package chip from the old days. Um, and this is an electrical fitting. It's uh, made out of uh, fiberglass and it's non-conductive and most importantly since it doesn't have metal in it it doesn't block the Wi-Fi signal from the ESP32. So we will uh, just pause for a second and put that back together. So here we have the uh, tank level sensor inside the electrical fitting shooting out the bottom into the hole where the tank gets filled and uh, that's the blue 45 gallon drum I guess 45 U uh, Canadian gallon 55 US gallon uh, drum and uh, I'm going to bring a laptop out and we are going to connect to it and make sure that everything is working okay and then we're going to just power it from a little USB battery pack. The glare on this screen is pretty terrible. You can see that there are numbers. Uh, they're in the 440 uh, millimeter range, which will be uh, not the right number because it should be somewhere around 3 feet, which is more like 90. 900 millimeters, not 400 millimeters. Uh, oh, the sensor's not in the middle of the tank; it's on the side, so it's probably picking up, picking up the edge. Well, uh, that'll do for what we're what we're doing today. Uh, I'm just going to uh, let this thing go, and I'll get my phone, uh, my other phone, out here, and we'll just verify that the uh, the Bluetooth keyboard is is uh, sending out results. We should be seeing a message in a few seconds here. Hopefully. Apparently. It didn't work. So that's why I brought the laptop and stuff out, trying to figure out what the problems are. Okay, uh, apparently I was uh, I automatically connected to the tank level uh, keyboard from something else, so I cycled power. Now I'm connected uh, on this phone, and we should see something here. Well, pretty quick. Uh, here we have on the debug screen numbers being written as the readings are taken. There is the tank level sensor on the top of the barrel. Tape measure because I wanted to know what the right value of the uh, water level is. And then on here you will see uh, well, you should see, should have seen just now a new value. 326, 346. And this thing does not want to focus. There we go. So uh, the average is 346 millimeters of free space in the tank. So it goes as high as 355 and as low as 326. Well, we're getting to the point where there should be a new reading. And the reading didn't show up. Oh, yeah, there it did. Bit of a delay. Now, I shouldn't have to press that in order to get it to send. Uh, I've got to figure out that yet. 
So this one was uh, a little closer. 358 is the max, 337 is the min, and 347 is the average, so a little bit higher. So that's kind of what it does. Um, so instead of having it connected to the laptop like this, I am going to go and get a, uh, a little battery pack, USB battery pack, and then we'll show you how it's supposed to work when you've got it uh, installed. A demonstration of the tank level for the 8th of July 2021. Um, here we have a prototype of the tank level. You can see the little sensor peeking through the uh, little copper shiny things sticking through the plastic. Uh, the ESP32, the brains, is inside the electrical fitting. Um, I've just got this open right now. I don't have it sealed because there's a USB cable coming out. And then we just have a USB battery bank that you can pick up pretty much anywhere. So we're going to take the top off the tank. We're going to place the tank level sensor in there. And we are going to plug in. I wonder if I can do this one-handed. Probably not. Uh, so I am in fact plugging it in. Of course it's upside down. Maybe I can do it this way. I could hit the hole. There we go. So we see no light. No indication of any kind. Well, that's not helpful. Um, over here on the tank level, again, we see no lights. I'm going to have to fix that. Um, and then over on here, we're going to go into our settings. And see that the tank level is connected as a Bluetooth keyboard, so that means that it's running. We should get a number in a couple minutes. Um, the number comes in. Well, you, if you look at the format, there, this is a message from tank level for a log node. Distances are 338, 349, and 365. So the smallest number of the 50 numbers that were measured is 338. The largest number was 365, but the average is 349. So that's, that's pretty much how that works. And that information is totally customizable. You can go into the code and change what it, what it says. You can, can uh, configure how long in between times it, it measures the level of the tank. Right now it's about two minutes. And uh, whenever you want to see what's in the tank, you connect to the Bluetooth. Um, if you if you don't have the battery connected all the time, you connect to the battery. Uh, wait about two minutes after you've connected to your Bluetooth keyboard, and it'll give you this text string. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I have a uh, an old Android phone that isn't uh, isn't good for much else. The battery's not very good, so I just leave it plugged in when we're at the lake and it uh, it logs the number all the time so you can uh, I think it's once an hour um, I was looking at changing that to once every day but we'll, we'll see but this is um, this is how it works
Well, that new update says that 325 was the minimum, 353 was the maximum, and 336 was the average. It's a little less accurate. Um, I'm using the, uh, the Telegram app, um, and it doesn't automatically send um, when the Bluetooth sends out a, a carriage return. I've got to figure out how to s configure uh, Telegram to, to do that for me. But uh, you can also put this into a spreadsheet or however else you want to show it. Uh, the reason that I do it this way is, uh, is because then I can go somewhere else and take a look at Telegram and uh, see what the values are. I'm just going to walk into the house and show that it is, uh, is displaying inside the house on our uh, Minix or Android box uh, that is also running Telegram. Uh, here we are looking at the last message, 325 to 353 with an average of 336. So that's that's how it works uh, when everything works and I have to add some troubleshooting, I have to create some kits and uh, just make it generally easier for everybody to use. I guess uh, an inch and a half or so is too short, so it's it's uh, giving me uh, zero as a distance. That's fine. If it's if the tank is that full, then uh, zero as a as an empty or zero room left is is reasonable. Here we are, just looking at all of the logging I've done today. Testing out the, the tank and taking the pictures. And that's it.